What's going on y'all? Welcome back again to the next part of our Shopify series and in this tutorial I will be showing you all how to make your own collection within Shopify. So of course my name is Angelo from Cosmos Inc. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. After you do that be sure to join our Facebook group Sublimation Cove where we cover sublimation and after you do that if you need any type of sublimation ink or pigment ink for your business be sure to hit that link down below and we'll get it sent out to you ASAP directly from Cosmos Inc. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is on your home page of your Shopify screen, you want to come down to where it says products, click on the products tab, and then come down to collections. But before I click on collections real quick, I want to go over something just for a moment. Um, I changed the name of my products. I pretty much rearranged it. I'm not going to say I changed it fully. I, at first, I had a first dance song wedding photo in the beginning. But of course, as your business grow, you're going to find little things that you want to tweak here and there. And from my perspective, if I was the buying customer, I would get easily confused if everything had the first five words are, are the same for every single product. So what I did was I took those first five words that are all the same, put them in parentheses after the actual item name. So for the first one we did was the hardboard photo panel. I just changed it to hardboard photo panel first. Then I put it in parentheses, first dance song, wedding photo parentheses. And then I finished off with, you know, the same thing we did before. All right. So that's just a little tip. All right, so from here, we're going to come down to collections. We're going to click on collections. And when you first sign up, you're automatically going to have your very first collection, which is home page. Um, when you click on this, it's going to automatically be sorted by best selling. Honestly, I recommend keeping it just the way it is. Do not alter this uh, whatsoever. All right, don't alter this. Uh, this will come in handy on your home page when you start making sales and you're noticing trends and you know of course Shopify they're noticing trends so they'll boost up what's your best selling item at that current time up to the top of the list within that home page collection all right so we can just hit back and we're going to go to create collection up here and then it's pretty much almost the same layout as your product listing all right but of course you're naming the collection so I also added more products as well. At first, we only had the hardboard panel, but as you just saw, I had an aluminum panel, I had a natural wood panel, and I also added a coffee mug, and I added a water bottle. So for this specific collection, I'm gonna name this photo panel. And for the description, I can just put up, uh, I'm not even gonna really type anything. I'm gonna just throw some sample fake words in there. And you can put whatever you want in here. All right, but uh, cater it, of course, you know, towards the photo panel. So after that, I come down to collection type. You have two different types. You have manual and you have automated. Manual will let you, uh, you can add products to this collection one by one or you can do automated, which existing and future products that match the conditions you set will automatically be added to this collection. This is a huge shortcut, all right? Please do automated. I do not recommend manual. If you do manual, um, it's gonna honestly take a long time, so I wouldn't recommend doing that because over time you decide to add more and more products, it's gonna become uh, more and more work on you on your end to add it to the collection. So I'm going to select automated. And as you all uh, remember in the previous video where I did the products, I went to the product tags and I added photo panel within the tags of that product. All right. So come down here. It says product tag. Well, first of all, it says conditions. Products must match all conditions. Product tag is equal to. As you can see, I got a bunch of different tags that I also made. So I may have put more than one tag in there. So for instance, if I put photo panel, which is right here, I also put aluminum. Or if I put photo panel, I also put hardboard or I also put natural wood. But we wanna do product tag is equal to photo panel. 
And then when we do that and hit save, it should automatically add right there every single item that we added that product tag photo panel to. So for this item, if I was to right click and go to open link in new tab, it should take me directly to this product listing. When we scroll down, you see I added photo panel right there in the tag section. So if I was to press X on this and hit save, and then go back to my collection that I'm creating. If I refresh this page, it should take that item off automatically. All right, it's just, it's gone. But if I go back into it and I type in photo panel, and of course it popped up right here. If it don't pop up, don't be alarmed. But if, but if it, uh, if it don't pop up, don't be alarmed. You just didn't hit this button right here to add it. But of course I typed it in before and then I press add right here. So it automatically added it. So if I do photo panel, of course, there you go. Then I can hit save and then it'll add it back right here. Then if I go back to my collections and I refresh this page, of course it's added back into this collection automatically because of the conditions that we set right here for product tag is equal to photo panel. So after that, uh, of course, the search engine uh, listing preview, this is the same setup as it was before in our product listing. So we wanna just go to edit, uh, photo panel, hold shift, press the key right next to the inner board, press enter, type in forever song, space and then if you're on the windows computer of course you're going to hold the alt key and press 0153 to get our tm logo and then from here i can edit my description to say photo panel collection from uh forever song so i'll just do that photo collection photo panel i'm sorry photo panel collection from for ever song alt zero one five three and then right here for the title I can put photo panel collection and then this is how it will show up within our search engine whether we're using Google Yahoo Bing you know whatever somebody is uh, searching photo panels for this is how it'll show up. All right. So after you do all of that, you can come over here. Um, same thing with availability. Uh, you can manage your collection availability, where if you want to show this collection in your online store or your other sales channels that you may have that will be listed over here, which we also talked about previously and collection image. So you can click on add image. I made one earlier and this is just for the photo panels. We'll click on this one. And we'll hit open and it will add this collection image that I created. I highly recommend you do photo panel uh, collection images or in my case, photo panel collection images. But I highly recommend you do a collection image because you can add uh, pictures of multiple items that you are selling within that collection uh, as your uh, image for your collection image. So that way people can know, OK, he sell this, this and this, you know, all these different items are within this collection. So uh, let me click on this and then I can get a full view of all the items that, you know, he may offer for this collection. All right. So same thing with this one. If we click on this, we can go to Im uh, image alt text as well. So we'll do photo. Ah, photo panel. Photo panel collection. Then hold shift, press the key next to the uh, enter button. And then we'll put a uh, for ever song <clears throat> alt zero one five three. Oh, click back in it. Alt zero one five three TM logo. And then we can hit save. So now this image if anybody was to type in photo panels or type in forever song or anything like that, um, or photo panels forever song, this image should pop up within the Google images as well. And then right underneath, 
your website will be listed as so you know where this image came from directly so of course we want to increase our visibility uh on google as much as possible whether it's through the web search on google whether it's through image search whether it's what whatever different uh search categories that they have on google you want to be available within those searches to increase the amount of visibility all right so from here we're gonna hit save and then that is it we have our collection saved so of course off camera i'm gonna go ahead and do our drinkware one pretty much the same exact way that i did this photo panel one and then we will see these collections of course later on in the tutorial all right so that pretty much wraps up this uh version of my tutorial of course i will be con doing a continuation in the next video and moving on to the next subject but of course my name is angelo from cosmos inc be sure to hit that subscribe button down below after you do that be sure to join our facebook group sublimation cove where we cover the topic of sublimation and last but not least we are the owners of cosmos inc so if you need any type of sublimation ink or payment ink for your business hit that link down below and we'll get it sent out to you okay so that's it i will see you all in the very next part of our series angelo out